This is Lake Kivu, a glittering gem wedged between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo along East Africa's fertile Albertine Rift. Deep forests once met the coastline here in a collision of greens and blues that decades of human activity eroded the tree line and left behind a desolate landscape. Over half a million people live along the shores of Lake Kivu, which provides life and livelihoods. But thanks to an innovative project between the Government of Spain and the United Nations Environment Programme, the Spain-UNEP LifeWeb Partnership for Protected Areas, there are options now to sustainably manage natural resources. The Bugobe villages have lived alongside the Kahuzi Piega National Park for generations. Today, there's a greater awareness of the benefits of conservation and the need to protect the park. In the process, Bugobe has become a stronger and more unified village. Before we created the community conservation committees, we from Bugobe would go mostly to the forest, particularly in Kahuzi Biaga National Park, to extract resources from Penkabe, including bamboo, cinder, bushmeat, and we would poach. Julia is 25 years old. For years, she regularly entered the park to farm or collect firewood. Now she grows crops on a parcel of land outside the park that she rents through microcredits. Julia takes her crops to the nearby village to sell. Thanks to this program, our life has been improved because we don't go up to the forest anymore to find bamboo, cinder and other products you can extract from the forest. Thanks to these microcredits, our lives have been improved. We can now find fertilizer and we've started to cultivate our fields, growing sweet potatoes, beans. Now we live from this. This market has now grown to accommodate four surrounding villages. The gorillas are never far from the villages that surround the park. It takes only 30 minutes to find them inside the dense forest and they've become accustomed to the presence of outsiders. Although hunted aggressively over the years for meat and trophies, the gorillas remain an important source of tourism revenue for Kahuzi Biega and its surrounding communities. One team regularly inspects the Ninja Corridor, a vital strip of land that is slowly regaining its forest cover. We are recovering mammals, some large, such as bush pigs, as well as other smaller mammals. We are glad as many trees are beginning to regenerate, and we are happy with the work of our partners. Community health projects stress the importance of human health and the very real risk of disease transmission to the gorillas. Spain UNEF LifeWeb is designed to improve the management of protected areas. One important site is the Cahuzi Biega National Park, home to critically endangered eastern lowland gorillas, in a project managed by the Great Ape Survival Partnership and implemented by the Congolese Park Authority, ICCN, and the Wildlife Conservation Society. Fewer than 5,000 of the gorillas are thought to remain but emphasizing the economic value of the forest and the gorilla's role in the forest's health is key to their survival. Local communities traditionally regarded the forest as a source of timber, firewood and food, and land was cleared for agriculture. Now there's a growing respect for the environment. The gorillas suffer from this war. You see, before the first war we had in 1997, we lost many of our species, which were completely habituated to human presence. 
We had enough guerrilla families to satisfy the demand for visitors. But because the guerrillas were habituated, humans took advantage of this and killed them. If there had never been a war, we might have more guerrillas in each family. Fewer than 5,000 of the guerrillas are thought to remain. But emphasizing the economic value of the forest and the guerrillas' role in the forest's health is key to their survival. Although hunted aggressively over the years for meat and trophies, the guerrillas have become an important source of tourism revenue for Kahuzi Biega and its surrounding communities. Civil wars, political unrest and displaced refugees breached the park in years past. Today, local communities find employment as park guards or tour guides. Families now return to live alongside Kahuzi Biega, recognizing the economic opportunities. Communities have built schools and clinics, and now there's a real sense of hope for the future in a region where once there was none.